Hey everyone, welcome in a new episode of Steven's Week. Uh, first of all, a big thank you to all of you. Uh, I've reached the point of 5,000 subscribers this week and that's a big milestone. You all know that the goal is 10,000, but 5,000 is really, really nice and I appreciate all the help and support from you guys. So welcome in this new show. First, a small item this week, Snapchat added a search function to make sure that it is easier for people to look around Snapchat and to find cool stories. Uh, my feeling is they have to do this because I think the pressure from Instagram stories is pretty big and Instagram has more functionalities like that. So you see how those two platforms are merging towards each other and Snapchat is making a smart move to make the searchability of the platform bigger. As you probably know, Tesla is building a huge factory in Nevada. It is an investment of $5 billion and the goal is to build as many batteries as possible and they need to scale the battery production to make the cheaper versions of Tesla like the Model 3. Well, they decided to increase the capacity of that factory and invest another $350 million uh, because they want to produce cars there as well, uh, which is huge. I've never seen a factory like that and I would love to visit it. Time for something that we've been all dreaming of since I don't know when, since probably we saw the movie of Back to the Future. It's the flying car and there have been many rumors about flying cars in the, in the past. But now this week the CEO of Airbus said that they're going to launch a prototype of the flying car by the end of this year, the end of 2017. So to be honest, I cannot wait to see that thing and I hope one day we'll be seeing it flying over the traffic jams all over the world. That would be fantastic. Many of you know that I'm a big fan of SpaceX, the second company run by Elon Musk, and I follow everything that they do, and I was really happy to see that this week they launched a rocket. It, it was since September 1st when a rocket exploded uh, that they launched a new rocket. This one was launched successfully, and it returned successfully as well to Earth, which is their key thing, that they want to reuse rockets. And this is crucial because this is decreasing the price for bringing satellites into space with 99%, which will change the world. But more importantly, it gives them money to build or to work on their dream to colonize Mars. So I was happy to see a new satellite of SpaceX going into space and coming back to Earth iPhone and smartphone sales is saturating as we all have one and the incremental evolution between those new phones are, is just very, very small. Uh, but even though that that market is saturating, the overall growth of app revenues grew at 40%, 40% last year. Google Assistant is possibly adding a payment function to its system, uh, which allows users to make payments through voice commands through their mobile phone or to Google Home. Uh, and this is very important because this is the one thing that Google didn't have and Siri has it, Alexa has it from Amazon um, and it would be good for Google to have the credit card access as well. If you think about it, Amazon has the, the credit card information of all their customers which gives them a huge poten potential to build a business around a smart personal assistant. Now Google is adding that functionality as well to compete with the other tech giants in this field. Rumor goes that Amazon is working on a driverless car, uh, patents leaked out, so if this is true, this could mean uh, something big. Um, we will have to see if it is true or not, but uh, imagine that Amazon would build driverless cars. That could mean that they want to build their own logistic system to cover the entire customer experience from a order on a site or through Alexa. Uh, until the delivery at the homes of customers. So imagine that the drone program seems to work out. Imagine that the driverless car program seems to work out. That could mean that they own the entire customer relationship from phase A to phase Z. And that could be a game changer. Mark Zuckerberg revealed uh, once again that Facebook is gonna invest a, a huge amount of money in VR, in virtual reality. Uh, yesterday he had to be a witness in court and he told the court that he's gonna invest uh, three billion in the next decade to grow the platform of VR for Facebook. Netflix results came out and uh, they were good. They were better than the forecast. Uh, Netflix has today uh, 94 million subscribers around the world. Last year, this time, this was about 72 million. So they added more than 20 million subscribers in four quarters, which is huge. And apparently one of the key drivers of growth are their own original content series. So last year they invested 5 billion into the creation of their own series. Well, this year they're gonna invest even more money. They're gonna invest 6 billion in the creation of their own content series because they see this is a driver for loyalty and a driver to acquire new customers. So 
So this was my week again. Thanks for watching it again. I really appreciate that. I'm happy with the 5,000 subscribers. I hope to go for 10,000 really soon. So please don't forget to share it and motivate people to subscribe to the channel so we can tell the world about the great changes in technology and customer experience. And enjoy your weekend, my friends. And see you again next week. Bye-bye.